symmetry with similarity of polygons. Now that we have discussed about similarity of triangles, when do we say two polygons are similar is the biggest question in case of polygons. So when I take two polygons, also the property is the same because we say two triangles are similar if their corresponding angles are equal and equally the corresponding sides are in same ratio. Same way for a polygon, two polygons are said to be similar if their corresponding angles are equal and their corresponding sides are in same ratio. Say for example, I take a hexagon. So this is the hexagon I have considered here and I take another hexagon out here. Then in this case, these two are said to be similar if the corresponding sides, say I mark this with A, B, C, D, E, F and A dash, B dash, C dash and F. Now these two polygons, which are hexagons, six sided figures are said to be similar in the same manner as we have defined for triangles. And the corresponding angles, angle A must be equal to angle A, A dash, this equal to this and this equal to this and so on and so forth. Therefore, for these to be similar, angle A is equal to angle A dash, B equals B dash, C equals C dash, D equals D dash, E equals E dash and finally F equals F dash. Same way if I take the corresponding sides then AB by A dash B dash will be equal to BC by B dash C dash this by this, this by this, this by this and this by this. So there will be totally six ratios which I obtain in this case proceeding by AB by A dash B dash and then BC by B dash C dash and so on and so forth. Six times getting the ratio. So from this I conclude that whenever I have any n-sided polygon or a closed-sided figure the two objects are said to be similar if their corresponding angles are same however big the number of angles are. If the number of angles is more still the corresponding angles must be equal and the corresponding sides must be in same ratio. Then we say the two close-sided figures are similar to each other is how we understand the concept of similarity connected with polygons. So what is the difference between similarity and congruency? Now similarity is what we have discussed in the previous session recently out here. Then what is congruency? How are they different? When do we say two objects are similar or when do we say they are congruent? Or is it that similarity and congruence is one and the same? Is what we are going to identify in the session. So for this, let me take two triangles and identify the difference between the congruency of triangles and similarity of triangles. So before we start with, my definition for similarity says that they are similar in shape but not with same size. So size of the objects are not same in similarity. That is one of the object as I have taken here is said to be similar to a very big object provided the corresponding angles are similar. But when I take the congruency I say that they are with same size. So the main difference between similarity and congruency is that similarity may not have the two objects to be with same size but congruency has the two objects in same size. So when I take the congruency similar in shape and with same size is what I understand the difference between similarity and congruency. Say for example, I take the triangles 
these two are said to be congruent denoted by this similarity denoted with this and congruency denoted with this are said to be congruent if they are equal in size and similar in shape but they are similar in shape but they are not equal in size is how we understand the difference between similarity and congruency so how do you understand the difference between similarity and congruency mathematically is very important so let's attempt on the mathematical understanding of the difference between similarity and congruency so for example i take similarity initially with its definition then i have similarity is already dealt with its definition and i take congruency out here so for this i would take the basic example of triangles because in this case i took the triangles abc is said to be similar to def if the corresponding angles are same and the sides are in same ratio so in this case let me also take the same triangles a b c and this with d e f now here i would like to compare between understanding of the difference of similarity and congruency using its mathematical properties so in this case angle a equals angle b and angle b equals angle e and angle c equals angle f for similarity of two triangles then i have the corresponding sides in same ratio that is ab by ed must be equal to bc by ef that is equal to ac by df is what i get for similarity of two triangles so when two triangles are congruent let's see what are the properties now in this case angle a is equal to angle d as in the case of similarity so i get angle a equals angle d and angle b equals angle e and angle c equals angle f is what i get in similarity and congruence to be same but when it comes to similarity the corresponding sides are in same ratio but when it comes to congruency the corresponding sides are equal is what we identify through congruency and similarity in this case the sides are not equal but they are in same ratio but in this case of congruency of two triangles the corresponding sides are same even in case of any polygon therefore here i have ab is strictly equal to ed and i have bc is strictly equal to ef and finally my ac is equal to df is what i understand the difference and because the corresponding sides are equal this retains the same shape but because the corresponding sides are not equal but in same ratio it does not retain the shape or the size but it becomes with different sizes but the sizes are maintained to be same strictly because the corresponding sides are equal this is how we understand mathematically the difference between similarity and congruence through their respective mathematical properties